everyone, Avalon here. Well, I've been doing a couple of videos about when I was living on the commune, the farm, and I'm doing them because basically we were a totally sustainable, spiritual, intentional community that lived outside of government, yet at the same time could affect government because of the way that we would go into perhaps vote and that kind of thing. And yet, at the same time, we didn't have any rulers where we were living, and we didn't have any real hierarchies. However, what we did have were rules, or a better word for it, where we had agreements. One of the main agreements was, Stephen had been telling us, and it makes sense anyway, to pay attention all the time, but also to pay attention to people and, and what they're talking about and what's going on around you. And that was important because otherwise what he said, and it was very true, was you would call it juice. Juice is energy. Juice is vibes. So basically, have you ever talked with someone and someone, and you're, you're telling them a story, or, or better yet, the other day, like I was showing someone a documentary they'd even asked to see. And so I got it together for them to watch, and they literally played the guitar and ignored the whole thing, or commented, or went to the bathroom in the middle of it, and that's what was considered a rip-off of juice, or a rip-off of the energy of another person. And really, the most important agreement was to not harm another sentient being. And it's very harmful to interrupt folks or basically, you know, not have any respect for what's going on around you. On the farm we had things going on like, you know, babies being born in our house. Um, you know, people would pay attention, some wouldn't, but most knew better than to go bouncing around and just walk into the room of someone having a baby, but it happened. And those people were called trippers, and they honestly didn't last very long if they continued to behave that way, because Stephen really encouraged us all to get along and to pay attention to our brothers and our sisters, and to the energy around us. And that leads me to another agreement we had, which was, if we were to get angry at someone because of what someone did, we didn't not tell them about it. We had an agreement between every one of us. Agreement means we all agreed that if you made me angry or I made you angry, before I could settle in as an, a resentment and then start to fester into a passive aggressive or whatever the hey problem, we were to go to that person and let them know like, hey man, what you just said to me hurt or what's wrong? I mean, that you just ripped off my whole idea or you know, like the person with the documentary, if I had been on the commune, I would have said, dude, you asked me to fix you up with this documentary, and I'm not really sure why you're ignoring it and, you know, like totally being, you know, rude to me, but I don't like it, and it hurts, and kind of pisses me off, and that was the thing, is to not have any subconscious, or to not be, you know, having any resentment, or be angry, and then the person's responsibility, or mine, you know, depending on who it was, like, if they were coming on to me about something I did that was rude, or hurt somebody, it was to look at it as a mirror, and really, really look and think that you hurt your brother or sister, and, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal to figure out maybe that wasn't the best behavior and to change it and Stephen called it a school of change and that's what life was was a school of change because that's all we could really depend on so yeah there was a spiritual aspect to living in an anarchy type of a system hope you're enjoying these videos take care peace